I'm standing here in downtown Barcelona, where behind me you can see high school students and university students all taking to the streets to protest today for Catalonia's independence. Following the sentencing of nine Catalonian politicians and activists on Monday, fresh protests broke out where the police and the protesters have been clashing violently. This is in light of the 2017 referendum bid for independence which failed. Now in the morning after these protests, people are trying to get back to their normal lives, but there's still a lot of unrest and emotion in the streets today and university students have taken to the streets to protest. This is a very crucial and significant week for Spain. This is Spain's biggest political crisis in 40 years. It is the first time that politicians in Spain have been sentenced and jailed for what they believe to be a peaceful protest. Now, the most interesting and crucial part of this is Catalonia's president, Quim Torra. He says this sentencing is unconstitutional and it violates Catalonians and the rest of the Spanish people's right to protest and their right for freedom of speech. I've spent the morning talking to many local residents who are all planning on attending Friday's general strike and Friday's protest. Now, I have spoken to a lot of young people and they are not happy about the violence that we're seeing. But what they have said is that so far, dialogue has not yet worked. The Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, has called on the Catalonian president, Quim Toro, to condone the violence. Now, as a Wednesday night, Quim Torra hasn't necessarily condemned the violence, but what he has done is urged protesters to behave peacefully when they take to the streets. Now, Spain is a federal government, which means the powers are devolved to different regions. And there are talks that if the protesters don't calm down, if the violence doesn't stop, then Article 155 will be revoked, which means the powers will be taken back from the Catalonian region. Now, just finally, Quim Toro, the president of Catalonia, has urged in Madrid, has urged the parliament in Madrid to make sure that they are using dialogue and has pleaded with them to use dialogue rather than jail sentencing to resolve this issue.